The next run? Yeah. Darn it, thanks. Gosh darn it, why do you do this? Alright, yeah, all the all the options are fine. Oh, it's not 10 o'clock. It's, uh... What time is it? It's, uh... Oh, yeah, it's, it's 1. 1.36. Uh, pretty late. Gosh darn it, man. Gosh darn it. Like, it wasn't a hard fight, it was just a Geodude and a Mankey. If my Pokémon were healed, if my Pokémon were actually healed, it would've been fine. You know? All I had to do... All I had to do, man, was heal up my Pokémon. I would've had, uh, like, both Owlman and, uh... Whitney would've had higher HP. That by itself is just a higher success rate. Um, my Ghastly would've had Licks. All he had was his Rock Throws, which actually, no, the Rock Throws kinda hurt really bad. But, um... Yeah, no, I should- I should make it- I should make an effort to learn Water Gun. I should make an effort to learn Water Gun. I think it's level 12. I think Water Gun's level 12. It's like- it's so far out there, man. It's so far out there. I, I don't know why it is, but it is. So far away. So far away. Uh, yeah, today's Sunday. Daylight savings, whatever you want. Let's see, water gun. Yeah, it, no, it's it's level 13. It's level 13 for water gun. That's that's so far away, but it's like whatever, man. It's it's whatever. I'm gonna get water gun, or I don't get beat up by you dudes. Ah! <laughs> Mistakes for real, man. But yep, as uh, as is tradition, you will name. Our go to dial after the reason we lost. It's the same reason I lost the very first time. The very first Nuzlocke. Lost the same way. Glackum? No, Glackum's not the reason we lost. Glackum's a good guy. Good people. Should have just healed at the Pokemon Center! All I had to do was go to the center, man. How, how do I fit that in there? The name of what? Go heal? <laughs> uh, ran out of PP. What? What's the? What's the word? Oh, oh, there we go. Impatience. That's his name. Good ol' impatience. All I had to do was go back and heal. If I was a little patient, didn't mind walking back, I would have been fine. But now I was way too impatient, and so I lost. Pokemon Center? Yeah, yeah, that would have worked. That would have worked. He super hates walking you. I didn't want to walk all the way back. I was like at the end of the cave, right? I was at the end of the cave. Like, no, I'm not walking back. Because I wanted to heal before I fought the last trainer in the cave. Like, because there was a trainer right before him. I wanted to heal there. Yo, is that a host? Yo, Torn Pixie's so seen me. Yo, thanks for the host, Torn Pixie. Yo, what's your story? You come here for the Pokemans? You come here for the Nuzlocks? Yo, I failed Nuzlocks three- this Nuzlocke three times. Where I've lost every single Pokemon. Every single one. I lost uh, all my Pokemon in the Sprout Tower. Because I ran out of PP and didn't heal at the Pokemon Center. Then I lost to Whitney. Because Miltank is stupid OP. And then I lost to... That random hiker. Uh, just before, um, Azalea Town. Because I didn't want to go heal and get my PP! I ran out of PP! I could not deal damage to that Ghastly! I could put it- or the... Dude, dude! I could put him to sleep! But my Ghastly could not deal damage to him. Not deal damage. Mistakes are just too real, man. Mistakes are too... real. 
Just lose there. There's no reason to. <laughs> oh, Black Moon, you silly man. But yeah, no, that's that's what it is. PP, it's uh, Pokemon Power. I think I think that's what it stands for. Now, Doomsday says to be fair, that's about what the Mill Tank would have looked like. I would have I would have preferred to make it to Mill Tank and know that for a fact, right? I would like to know that for a fact. I like the look of the female Ghastly versus Mill Tank. Cause like legit, if everything went right, if everything goes right, I win like pretty much. Well, it's a lot of it's a lot of things that have to go right. I mean, not a lot of things, but a little bit has to go right. Like I need to land the hypnosis, and then I use curse, and then I switch to whoever, and then um. With that being the case, Mill Tank goes down in four turns. So I can really just switch around. And uh, as long as it's not just going pure rollout, I, I should have been fine. Cause I mean, theoretically, I think I could bait it into like um, using Stomp on guys and then switching into the Ghastly, which cannot be hit by Stomp. So that would have been risky, but not that big a deal. As long as I wasn't playing a flying type Pokemon, it would have been fine. Will Tank drinks milk? Yeah, that's true, but drinking the milk is still a waste of a turn. So this is basically your average night of red speed runs? I mean, it's similar. It is definitely similar. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of not good happening. Just, oh, Miltank's so stupidly tough, man. I never realized how tough Miltank was. Like, I know people say Miltank's hard, like, all the time. I'm like, all you gotta do is, you know, use a Pokemon that's strong against Miltank, you'll be fine. Do you do duplicate clauses in your runs? Yes, there's, 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 uh, this is duplicate clause. If I don't have Pokeballs, which I currently do not have Pokeballs, these routes don't count. So, like this Pidgey right here, this doesn't count. Not until I come back here and have Pokeballs. And then yeah, if I catch one Pidgey and I come into another Pidgey in the next route, no, I'm gonna catch something else. I'm not catching two Pidgeys. And Soctor says, I thought you stopped running red because of times, like this where you're constantly resetting. Well, there's a difference, right? When I'm doing Pokemon Red speed runs, I would lose the run because of just bad luck, right? Like Ekans is just like, yeah, now I'm gonna do the full five wraps. Uh, Brock's like, yeah, I'm gonna use Bide on the same turn that your Squirtle uses Bubble, and you have a Super Trash Squirtle, its special stat isn't high enough to knock me out in three turns. I happen to do a two turn bide instead of a three turn bide, or I run into two Jigglypuffs, or I get, you know, the bad in game timer on Mount Moon so my RNG manipulation doesn't work correctly. Just, you know, it's so much bad luck can open in Pokemon Red. But in this Pokemon Gold, I'm not doing a speed run, I'm doing a Nuzlocke challenge. So with this, if I fail, it's by my own own mistakes. I mean, yeah, you can miss attacks, you can get crit, that's unfortunate, but, you know, as long as I have, like, backup strategies and I'm okay with losing a Pokemon here and there, I shouldn't just outright lose outside of just making really, really bad choices. Which, again, is why we have named Totodile Impatience, because that is the second time I have lost a run because I have not gone back to the Pokemon Center. I'm just so impatient. I don't want to walk all the way back. I'm like, ah, it's such a waste of time. I'm just gonna walk, then walk all the way back. I don't want to do all that. But no, no, never again. Dota Dial, the name of impatience, will teach me to become a more patient Pokemon trainer. And I will not make those mistakes again. No, never again, man, never again. Not today. No, sir. Let's see, Omega says you could trade a uh, Drowsy for a Machop in the Golden Rail... Golden Rod... Mall? Yes! If I get that far. And then grind a bit to increase the level of the Machop? Yeah, I could do that. I could do that. The only problem is... 
I don't know. Can Machop knock out the Miltank before Miltank knocks him out? And also, is it a male Machop or is it a female Machop? If it's a set male Machop, that's a 50-50 odd, dude. Forget that. I might as well just throw the game into the garbage can if that Machop's a male. Gotta be female. If it's female, that's something. Wait, what's uh, Tint Doctor? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it can be both. Alright, alright. So it's 50-50 it's on if it's the right gender. Is it based on the gender of the Pokemon that I trade it, uh, trade with it? Or is it literally, like, decided as I pick the Pokemon up? Or you got a female Machop one time? Okay, okay. Fair enough. You don't know? Yeah, no worries, no worries. I mean, it, that depends on if I get the Drowsy anyways. Oh man, this is this is hard. <laughs> this is so hard. It wouldn't be as bad if I would just allow myself to heal, but because there's no healing allowed, it's so much harder. I'm trying to come up with a plan. I'm trying to figure something out. I mean, I could also, you know, just grind and be a higher level, but I, I kind of don't want to do that either. Let me go ahead and get this leer in here to counterbalance the growl. Let it go, Chikorita. Let it go. It's nice being able to do the rival fight and having a two level advantage. Cause man, nothing's worse than like fighting Bulbasaur as Squirtle. And like, he can just win the fight. If he just has better stats, he growls turn one or whatever. Probably gonna win if he just has a better stats, always tackles, or if he gets like a crit and you don't get any crits. GG, you lose. But nah, I can be crit in that battle and still win. I like that. I like that a lot. Way better. Oh yeah, and my Pokemon starts with a berry. Do I still have that? I still have the berry too. Oh, and you get healed for beating your rival. Interesting. I, I didn't notice that before. That's cool. Super cool. I love the layout of this route. Like, it has a similar thing as uh, Route 1 in Pokemon Red, where like you don't have to fight anything on your way back. But, you know, the layout's completely different. It looks more natural, in my opinion. Alright, let's name him Silver. For the fourth time. I didn't think this game would be so hard. Oh yeah, I have to talk to Elm. I forgot to do that the other time. The last run we were doing. Oh no, it's a Pokemon egg! Oh wow! Pokemon Gym Challenge, huh? Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll do that. And Doctor suddenly realizes how long it's been since his last drink of water. Yo, get on that water, man. Water is... Water is important. Can't be skipping out on that. Oh, she's over here this time. That's where your headache came from? Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, I don't need your help, Mom, but I just wanted to make sure you were okay. Alright, this guy's gonna ask me if I wanna learn how to catch the Pokemon. Nah, I'm, I'm all good on that. All good on that, friendo. Maybe next time. Oh, so yeah, this is the Pokemon I get to catch. Yay, Raditza! The first encounter Pokemon in the Nuzlocke. I mean, they're usually Raditza, aren't they? Um, I think I can do a second Rage. 
<laughs> Quote 162. My name is Vinx, and I like to throw the game away. <laughs> yep. So that's a very accurate quote. Very accurate. I, I do that sometimes in my speedruns, where like, I'm just having a really good speedrun, and I just start doing really dumb things. Yeah, that's, that's how these Nuzlocks have been going, man. I mean, except for Whitney. Whitney? I was doing everything right. Everything right, dude. It just, it didn't work out. No, sir. Hmm. Yo, oh, whoops, I was supposed to name the Ratata, but I accidentally pressed B. <laughs> whoops! We all know I wasn't gonna use the Ratata anyway. Yeah, we gotta catch another Pokemon, though. Hopefully I can get a female Dew, dude. Speaking of which, I'm gonna test out... Yo, dude. At level 20. I had a level 20 Geodude, and I swear it was getting busted up by Stomp. What's the damage on Stomp? Why is it not there? Pokemon damage calculator is busted. See his tackle on here? Yeah, tackle's here. Then just up that from 35 base power to 65. Yeah, it says it should only deal like 14% at worst. The female Geodude? Yes! Female Geodude! Okay, okay, okay. We can totally do this. Yeah, uh... Is Magnus? Or not Magnus? What's left? Is that on here? Of course it is. Um... What am I looking for? Do you rage? Earthquake. And then do that by like 50, I don't know. I think magnitude, like something low like that. So yeah, I can deal... I can deal more damage as Geodude, as Miltank can to me. She's faster than me. I can flinch. If I flinch, then I lose anyways. Um, I don't know, man. Oh, whoops! I might- oh wait, no, no, I'm faster, it's fine. I just throw that Pokeball. And yo, Torf saying I'm actually Nuzlocke and Soul Silver right now. Just defense crawl on Clefairy and hope it doesn't metronome a grass or water move. That's how you beat Whitney. Yeah, no, nah, that- that could work. That could work. That's exactly what I didn't try to do last time I fought Whitney, because I was like, She's gonna use, like, Water Gun. I just know she is. She's gonna Water Gun. Alright, what am I gonna name this Geodude? I will name this Geodude... Um... I don't know. Quartz? Let's do Quartz. A good name for Geodude. <laughs> Dudette 2.0. Yeah, man. Yeah, rest in peace, Dudette. Yeah, uh... Yeah, no, it wasn't Dudette that made it to the mill tank. It was, uh... What was the next Geodude after that? After Dudette. Uh, I, I don't remember. <laughs> I have the faintest clue. But yeah, my Geodude, man, got bodied. The Attract? The attract and the flinches were just too much. But like, if I go in there again with this female Geodude, Magnitude? I think it's possible. Now let me look up the actual damage values for Magnitude, because I'm not 100% on that. Yeah, Magnitude is 30. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, magnitude 5 is a power of 30. It's pretty low. But magnitude 9 is 110. So, like... This could... this could be a thing, man. This could be a thing. But yeah, what is that? If it's 70? That's... that's really doable. Really, really, really doable. Did I grab this berry? Nope. Or yes, yes, I already did. Um. Hmm. 
I don't know, magnitude 5 is weaker than I thought it was. That's way too close of a fight between them. I, yeah, I, I do think the defense scroll strat could work, but again, if the Clefairy takes me out, that's that. That would be that. Yeah, we'll just see, man. We'll see what Pokemon we end up with. Go from there. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and swap. Yeah, can I take that item, actually? Let me hold on to that berry. If you would switch places with Quartz, that would be great. Thank you. Use you. I need to catch a Pokemon for this route. I wonder what it'll be. Probably a Pidgey. Nah, a Caterpie. Probably a Caterpie. Can I win this fight? I'm only level 2. I'll try that out later. Uh, Torpsane Rage on Clefairy with Totodile and hope she double slaps. That's a speedrun strat at least. That sounds really cool. That sounds really cool. I, I could do that. I could do that. I think it just depends on what Pokemon I have leading up to Whitney. Depending on what I have, I'll try one, stat or one strategy or the other. Alright, what's the Pokemon for this route? It is a Metapod. This is the Pokemon I get to catch. Hip hip hooray! This is dumb. I guess it doesn't matter, it's just gonna use harden as soon as I... Flop? Oh, it'd be a hit faster than me. <laughs> Harden's before I attack. Well, that's fine. Just try to get it to yellow through my Pokeball. Yeah, that's a, that's a good strat, Torf. I like that. I can't believe I forgot that. I've done a gold speedrun before, but that was like... I've only done two speedruns of Pokemon Gold, and that was like two years ago. So... It's not, it's not all in there. It's gonna take forever! <laughs> Did I just throw Pokeballs? Oh, I forgot to buy Pokeballs. I don't have Pokeballs to throw around. How much HP do you have, Metapod? I'm sure it can't be... It's probably like 22. I can't imagine it has too much HP at level 5. I'm pretty sure it should have an HP value around 19 at level 4. So, in level 5, I can only imagine it being so much higher. I mean, it, it depends on DB, but... It's gotta be something around there. I've done 10 damage to it so far. It, it either has like 19 or 20 HP. Alright. Come on, Metapod, go into the ball, please. Of course not. It was close, too. How many more Pokeballs do I have? I have one left. Gosh darn it, we're gonna take him to red. We're gonna take him to red. This is gonna take a second. But I don't wanna lose my Pokemon that pops out of the Pokeball like I did the Mareep in my last Nuzlocke. I only have the one ball left, so I gotta I gotta do this, man. I gotta do it. It'll only take a few turns. It won't be that bad. I don't wanna lose one patience. I've lost one patience too many times. Alright, so um What am I looking for? Oh yeah, Butterfree. I wanna know. What is Butterfree one? Let's see, let's... Butterfree learns... Oh, it's already in the red. I wasn't paying attention. Alright. Come on! It's a Metapod! It's a baby Pokemon! 
Red HP, don't you pop out of that ball, don't you do it. No! Gosh darn it, man! I have the worst luck! I even sat there, man, to try to catch it, too. Alright, yeah, nah. It wasn't a Caterpie, it wasn't destined to go into a Pokeball. Look at all these cool moves I could have had, man. I could have had a uh, Super Sonic, I guess, Sleep Powder. Sleep Powder is pretty cool. The higher chance of, uh, you know, putting something to sleep versus hypnosis, like I was doing with the uh, Old Boy Ghastly. I just don't have good luck when it comes to these Nuzlocks, man. No, sir. It took forever and a half, and I still didn't catch it! Metapod, why? Why do you gotta do me like this? I don't deserve it. I really don't. Well, I, I can catch a Pokemon in the cave. It's a little bit past here. I have to, um... Gotta get buy some Pokeballs first, though. But even with that being the case, I'm trying to take on Bellsprout Tower. I don't really have any good Pokemon to do that. I have a Rattata, don't I? Yeah, I have a Rattata? A Geodude. Totodile. That Geodude, or uh, Rattata's my best Pokemon for fighting Bellsprouts right now. That's, that's not too good, man. That's not too good. I'm not in love with that. How much damage do you do? You? Meh, I'll be fine. Win this fight? I think. As long as he doesn't crit me. Ooh, failed the tail with nice. I didn't want him landing that, that could have been bad. Oh, you failed two Tail Whips? Doesn't Tail Whip have like 100 accuracy? How does Tail Whip fail? I don't understand the mechanics behind that. No idea. Yeah, let's take a look. Yeah, I just have these three Pokemon. Didn't catch a Pokemon in this route. Got away from me. I started Metapod. Yo, Super Sensei, you're saying, alright, Vinks, good luck on the Nuzlocke, you're retiring for the night. P.S. Little Vinks is a monster amiibo. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad to hear it, man. Yo, you get that good sleep, alright? Yo, very important you do so. Alright, I'm just gonna buy as many Pokeballs as I can. 17 will do the job. Then heal up, very important. But yeah, since I'm doing it, like, no, uh, healing in battle. Nuzlocke? I don't really need to buy potions. Not for real, for real. Only thing they help with is backtracking, which currently at this point of the game I still kind of have to do anyways. Because I don't have, like, ethers or elixirs. I'm running out of them tackles. Won't last forever. Oops, not that way. Oh, hey, Caterpie! Sure would have been cool if you caught that Metapod, huh? Ah. A Butterfree would have been really nice. I mean, because it, it has decent stats, right? Butterfree? Let me look that up. Where is Butterfree? Butterfree, Butterfree. There it is. Let's see. Whew! Haha! <laughs> no, no, never mind. Never mind, I forgot how low Butterfree's base stat total is. It's got such low defense, such low HP. Its special attack and special defense are okay. Its speed is kinda okay, I guess. Not, not as good as what I was hoping for. Yeah, maybe Butterfree wasn't the answer anyway. Clearly, whatever we catch in this cave is going to be the true answer. I want to fight another Metapod, I'm just running away from that. 
Wasting my time. See you later, buddy. I'm probably just gonna catch another Zubat. Yeah, I think that's all that's in the dark cave, is like Zubat. I mean, heck, all Wikipedia. They'll tell me. Alright, yeah, according to this, the Pokemon are Zubat, Geodude, and actually, Dunsparce. You can catch Dunsparce in here. Interesting. It's a 1% chance, though. 1% chance for Dunsparce. And since I have a Duplicate Clause and I already have a Geodude, odds are pretty high I'm going to catch a Zubat. Pretty high. Where are the stats of, uh thing anyways. Well, they're not the worst in the world. They're not that high, but I don't know. Zubat hasn't been doing a lot for me anyways. So I'm not excited to get Zubat, but whatever. Every Pokemon helps. Every Pokemon helps. I'll take every Pokemon I can get in this Nuzlocke, man, because you don't have an infinite number of Pokemon. You do not. They don't last forever. Zoo Batmans and Rouges, yes. You've named Zubats things such as that. And yeah, there's a Zubat. This is what we're catching for the route. Well, I named this one. Oh, these Zubats have been pretty useless. I mean, their stats are really low. Really low stats. Supersonic's only 55% accurate. And Leech Life is a bug type attack, so it doesn't even have stat. Oh, that's right. Glackham donated. And said, name a Pokemon after me. His name will be Glackam. There we go. Glackam can be a Zubat. I mean, I'm not super into the Zubats, but like, he shouldn't die. Outside of me making really critical mistakes. Zubat should be fine. Zubat should... Bitterberry. I don't know what that does. I got it. Oh yeah, you're a Pokemon trainer. Got a bunch of Pokemon. Let me battle. <laughs> Sorry, Tenth Doctor. Rockin' had priority. Darn it, man. I mean, at least I already have the Radita. So I should be able to get a Ghastly again. Getting a Ghastly would be really, really good. You can't get the bit ads. <laughs> Rest in peace, Tenth Doctor. Glackum says, How is this better than being a Butterfree? Being a Butterfree would be way better, Glackum, but uh, we, didn't, we didn't get a Butterfree. <laughs> we did not. Like, Butterfree doesn't have the best stats, but at least it has Sleep Powder, dude. That's a very useful move. The utility is real. But, you'll be Zubat. If we can ever get you into a Crobat, if we can fully evolve Zubat into a Crobat, that'll be legit. But I gotta get past Whitney first, man. I gotta get past Whitney first. We will see. Oh, I can be poisoned. That would be bad. Don't poison me, Weedle. Your 30% chance of poison per poison sting. Yeah, there's the poison. It was, it was bound to happen. Do I have any antidotes? I think I do. I have potions, I'll be fine. Is that the last Pokemon or one more? Go level 8! 
I'm gonna send out Caterpie, huh? Can Glacken beat Caterpie? I don't know about all that. I don't wanna use Radita. Yeah, we're not we're not gonna use the Radita. Rackham says, well, if you play it safe and grind, you can let me live. I mean, I doubt you'll do that. Yeah, I'll, I'll do my grinding off screen. Like, uh... Like, when I, um, finish streaming for tonight, which I'll probably do in, like, 50 minutes, then I'll, uh, do some grinding off stream. Not doing anything crazy. Just hanging out on whatever route I'm in. But, that's the future. This is the now. But yeah, you'll be fine. I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna fight all the bell sprouts. That's a little bit of a problem. Just a little bit of a problem. It's like the bell sprouts are gonna body my Pokemon, dude. They beat you, dude, because he's rock ground, so they'll like one hit him. They'll probably one hit, or not one hit, but they'll like two or three turn my Totodile, depending on level. Yeah, actually, I I should really level up um. You really level up Blackham right now. That's the best thing I can do. How much damage are you gonna do to me, Bell Sprout? Fine Whipple deal. One damage. Good number. I like that one. New Blackham team practicing Rayman 3 off stream yourself right now? Ate some of the tricks so much? Yeah, no, man. Oh, wow. This is gonna be a slow fight. Yeah, I don't know if it's even worth. Why only one damage, Glackum? Come on, you could do a bit more than that. No, not, not quite. Okay, let's just, um... Just run away. How about that? Just run away. We'll level him up a little bit later. Yeah, no, I remember watching you do a lot of those tricks, Glackum. They looked really dumb. As far as, like, what you do to execute them. I mean, the tricks themselves, once you accomplish them, like, good stuff. But, just how weird they are, it's just weird. I don't know. Alright, so... I'm gonna take on Bellsprout Tower. I'm gonna need to level up Zubat. Kinda gonna have to be a thing. Do that. I'm going to put black him into the first slot. Yeah, let's uh Yeah now first let's go wait. Ah decisions. Oh, can I hit Ghastly? I don't know if I can hit Ghastly. Yeah, the only Pokemon that can hit Ghastly is Glackum, we gotta level up Glackum. The only chance, the only way. Your Glackum says, if only I could show you an input counter, you might be more interested. <laughs> yeah, no, it's all good, man. It's all good. I'm sure you'll figure something out like that down the line for sure, if you really wanted to. Oh wait, no, you play on original hardware, don't you? You don't play on, like, emulator. Way more difficult. Like, normally, at this point, I would have a Hoot Hoot or a Pidgey. But I do not have either of those Pokemon. Those are the Pokemon I normally use to take out the Bullsprout Tower. I did not catch either one of the birds, so... Yeah, I have to grind where normally I don't have to. Feels pretty bad, man. Feels pretty bad. Just so interesting. It's like, if I was playing this game normally, like, I wouldn't have any trouble here. It'd be, like, not a big deal at all. Because it's like, ah, yeah, let me just go catch a Pidgey. Or catch a Hoot Hoot. But with the Nuzlocke, where I'm limited in the Pokemon that I can catch, I just so happen to have a lineup that mostly loses to Grass-type Pokemon. So, like, I have to actually try a little bit harder now. Funny how things work out like that. Get a flying move on your bet? I don't think Zubat, like, learns anything, man. Let me, let me look that up real quick. Where are you at, Zubat? Zoo of the Bats. I'm looking it up on Serapy.com, the site I use for, like, all my Pokemon needs. 
Let's see, Gen 2. Learn Supersonic at level 6. Bite at level 12. It learns Bite? Bite never gotten one to level 12? Geesh. Oh, it learns Confuse Ray at level 19. Yo, that is 100% accurate confusion. That is, that is pretty legit, dude. It is pretty legit. I was unaware. And it evolves the goal at level 22. That's, that's not too far off. No, sir. Yeah, I think I'll, uh... I think I might get that Confuse ready for Whitney. Might not be a bad idea. Start her off confused. Oh, we have a male Zubat, though. I don't know. What's the base speed on this thing? Is it 100? It's 55! Yeah, nah. I would probably get attracted, not worth. Bite's a cool move, though. That That's a dark type in this one, right? Yeah, Bite is a dark type move. That's that's good to have. It'll be useful in the future. For sure. You don't learn any flying type attacks. Oh no, it, it learns wing attack at 27, but it would be a Golbat by then. Golbat learns wing attack at level 30? It's not forever. It's not the end of the world. Not exactly. Could be worse. There we go, Glackham's level 4. Yeah, I think I can take Glackham into there. He's poison. A poison flying, and poison doesn't take. It just takes neutral damage from ghosts, right? Yeah, neutral damage from ghosts. Lick is like really low, so to be able to get some hits on the ghost, use that to catch it. Yeah, I need a ghost, preferably female. Preferably female. That would be really, really nice. Can you catch Ghastly in the day, actually? It is awfully the day. I don't know if I can catch Ghastly in the day. Look that up. So many things! Let's try to catch this Pokémon first. I guess I could level up off of this guy, why not? Yeah, Dark Cave? Nah, not there. Violet City. Where's Sprout Tower? There it is. Sprout Tower. Yeah, no. Ghastly. Ghastly 0% encounter rate during the day. I can only encounter Radita. Ah, oh, that wasn't part of the plan. I'll have to come back here later. I want to catch Ghastly. It's kind of lame, because it, it, it's 2 a.m., but it's like, no, it's it's too sunny out. It's 2 a.m., the sun is nowhere to be seen, video game. I think I can change the in-game time if I go to my clock in my house? Does it work like that? I don't remember. Can you just change the time by going to the clock in your house? The only poison move that Zubat learns in Gen 2 is Toxic? Eh, sounds about right. Poison types were uh, really, really bad at first. Um, what am I trying to think of? Oh yeah, change time. How to change the time in Pokemon Yield. See, in gold and silver, you can access a special screen by holding down, select, and B. Simultaneously, it's a title screen. You will reach your prompt for a password that can be used to reset the clock function. So this screen has been disabled. Crystal. Wait, what's the password? This so will calculate your password. Uh, you will need to put in three items of information. Your name, case sensitive, number of D notes. EK? Oh, no, 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 I, I don't have anything like that. My ID name? Alright, so just my trainer name is Vanx. I'll look up my ID number and the amount of money I have. Eesh, why is that so specific? I will figure it out after this. I'm catching that gasoline. I want that gasoline. Ugh, 
I'm gonna run out of leech life before I knock up this spell sprout, aren't I? Yes. Yes, I am. Gosh darn it, Glackham, deal more damage! Alright, let's use Granita, I guess? I don't have a lot of good options here. Man, that kind of hurts. Definitely hurts. Okay, that's Bellsprout Town. Back in Route Level 5! Let's go, Glackham! And another Bellsprout. I'm gonna try to use... Impatience, the Totodile. Like, yeah, he's weak to grass types, but he's also much higher level than the Bell Sprout is, so I think it'll be okay. Yeah, we'll open up with Rage. Yeah, what's Synth Doctor posting? <laughs> Out of PP? I started then. I, it's just, it keeps happening to me. It keeps happening to me. I'm not used to running out of PP, but it keeps happening. Alright, we're good, we're good. Alright, so let's see. The amount of money I have. Oh, well, ID number first, which is 44610. Then the amount of money I have is 204. This is so weird. And generate password. Alright, I have a password generated. Save the game. Another save file is okay to overwrite, yes. Thanks. Save the game. Alright. Let's try this. It says to hold down, select, and B simultaneous. Set the clock? Yes. Please enter the password. 0, 1, 2, 7, 8. Password OK. Select continue and reset settings. Interesting. So, how do. Where'd, where'd my clock go? Time not set? How do, how do I set the time? One time set, please. Do I just hit continue? The clock's time may be wrong. Please reset the time. That with the control pad. Ah, perfect. All right, so let's make this nighttime. So what? I'll just say it's 7.23. That should technically be nighttime. Yeah, I need to go heal my Zubat. Yep, yep, it is nighttime. We can catch Ghastly. No problems, no problems, everybody. We can catch a Ghastly. What's your new favorite meme macro to the Doctor? That's, it's not bad. It's not bad. Okay. One me, one Ghastly. You wanna be joining me. Let's go. Yeah, it only knows Lick and Hypnosis, right? Or does it only know Lick at this point? No, I think it learns Hypnosis first. I think it starts with Hypnosis and Lick. Alright, come on, Ghastly. Draw me what you get! Alright, again... Lick doesn't do too much damage, so theoretically... It should be fine. So, oh, it's a poison type, so it resists bug. A little annoying, but it's okay. We just want to get him into the yellow and start chucking some Pokeballs. Yeah, the Hypnosis could actually be a really big problem. He has to not land that. It'd be really bad. Yeah, if I get paralyzed, I'd be fine. If I'm paralyzed, I can't be put to sleep. You know, being, you know, losing a turn to paralysis isn't that big a deal. Yeah, there's a paralysis. Okay, okay. That's fine. It's fine. No problems here. Yeah, <laughs> hypnosis doesn't work. And yeah, that's the best because it's, it's AI. It doesn't think about that. We'll continue to have hypnosis as an option it goes for. I'm 100% okay with that. Almost there, man. One or two more leech lives should do it. One or two more.
Alright. One more. One more leech life. Yeah, I should go back and heal after this, because I'm out of... I'm, like, out of, like, half of my leech lives. Just to try to catch this gosh darn ghastly man. Alright, don't you pop out. And it's a female ghastly too, perfect, perfect, awesome, awesome. Alright. Nicknamed, uh, Ghastly? I'm naming her bow. I know I already had a bow, but this is, this is the second bow. I refuse to not name her bow. I was cheated! <laughs> cheated last time, I swear. Even though it was my own poor choices. I mean, she's a ghost. The ghost can't really die, right? Clearly it's the same Ghastly. Just lower level. Oh man, that last- the last time we got knocked out, man. Just because I was too impatient to go back and heal. Not again! And uh, what's the Thousand Year Door Ghost Partner's name? No idea. <laughs> I- I don't know. Oh, the Shadow Siren Girl, Vivian. I thought you were talking about the, um... The other ghost lady? The one with the, like, necklace? I don't remember her name. Yeah, Lady Bo from 64. Yeah, Flurry. Flurry's her name? Okay. Yeah, Vivian. I remember Vivian. She was a really cool character. I liked her a lot. Thought she was very interesting. Alright. Please tell me your Bell Sprouts are still like level 3 or at most level 4. Level 3? Alright, perfect. So, like, run level 5 Zubat is not gonna deal the damage to knock out level 5 Bell Sprouts. Use one of those next run. If if it happens again, if it happens again, we'll see. We will see. I prefer if I just you know beat the game from here on out. No more losing the Nuzlocke. That'd be nice. If <laughs> when? No, it's not when. It's if. We're gonna beat Whitney. It'll be fine. Got to make it back to her. Not that difficult to do. Telling you. So rude, Mr. Bellsprout. Dude, I just don't deal enough damage. I really don't. I'm not even gonna hit level 6 off of this, am I? Yeah, it took six hits to knock out this Bell Sprout. So I can knock out one more Bell Sprout, then that's it. Yeah, close to leveling up, but not quite. Right, yo, give me one sec, I will be right back. Alright, I have returned. Yeah, I, I can still mash A while, like, not being here because it's a wireless controller. I'm literally walking out of my room. I'm not in this room. <laughs> but, I mean, I'm down to mash A. That's, that's not that hard to do. Alright, let's keep blocking him in so he can get the experience. Go ahead and get that supersonic in there. Yeah, he, he doesn't have the leech lives to knock out Bellsprout. And I don't want to rely on it. Not well, actually, actually, hey, maybe, 
<laughs> Maybe he can do it by himself. Let's go. Let's go, Black him. Yo, if he could just hit himself one more time, that'd be perfect. Ah, come on, man. Give me what I want. I mean, I can struggle. Struggle will be fine. Oh wait, no, I can't use struggle. I have supersonic now. No more struggling. Oh, there we go, that did it. Good job, Glacken. Did it all by himself. Which cost all of his PP, man. They need- why does- why does Leech Life only have 15 PP? They had to have buffed that in the later generations, right? I'm gonna look that up. I think they did. Leech Life. Um... See some small changes. Oh, they reduced the PP in Generation 7, but they upped the base power from 20 to 80. Yeah, that's right. Or not, did I say Gen 8? I meant Gen 7. I'm so ready for Nintendo Switch to come out, man. I'm so ready. I assume the Nintendo Switch game will be Generation 8, but I don't know if it actually will be, right? Because it's like, every time it's a new generation, we have new starters, yeah? Like, you know, you got, uh, let's choose the water ones, because I know those ones the best. You got Squirtle, then, yeah, Squirtle Gen 1, Totodile Gen 2, Mudkip Gen 3, uh, Piplup Gen 4, Oshawott Gen 5, Brokey Gen 6, and Popleo Gen 7. You always have a new one, but the Nintendo Switch game is rumored to take place in Kanto again, and if that's the case, it would just be Squirtle, right? If you go back to Kanso, I mean, there's all sorts of rumors, man. Some people are saying it will be different starters, but then a lot of people are all, a lot of rumors are also saying, no, it's gonna be, you're gonna be able to choose between Squirtle, Bulbasaur, and Charmander, but you also get a Pikachu or Eevee, depending on the game. Cause I mean, that could be it too. You could just like only get Pikachu and Eevee. Cause the games are called, again, rumored, let's go Pikachu, let's go Eevee. So it's like, maybe, Maybe none of that happens. Maybe there is no getting new Pokemon. Can you have a start of a new generation without new starters? Is that is that possible? I mean, to me, a different generation is just like different mechanics. So like, if they were to add a new type to the game, like say there's a, I don't know, type light, they add a light type. But I don't know, fairy type is pretty much light in my, in my opinion. Yeah, they could add like a light type, I don't know. Or they could like change how certain types work. And uh, certain attacks, like they could make Skull be like a fire water type attack. Or deal super effective damage as if it was both fire and water. Things like that, you know, changing different attacks, adding new mechanics to the game. In my eyes, that's a new generation. No, the rumor is Pikachu and Eevee, yeah, yeah. And Dark has gone long enough without an opposite. Yeah, yeah, it, like, they could have a light type, they could. I mean, I, again, I think fairy, between fire and fairy, we pretty much got it covered. But, it could be a light type. Could do that, it'd be very easy to do. Psychic is already the light type? Yeah? I mean, I, I've never seen people say psychic is light type before, but I, whatever works. I'm fine with whatever. But yeah, I would love to see new mechanic changes. Oh, and just new egg moves for Pokemon, right? I mean, new egg moves for Pokemon isn't always like a generation change, though. Like, I'm pretty sure there's new egg moves between games in the same version. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, Charmander doesn't have Metal Claw and, like, Ruby and Sapphire. And it has, it learns Metal Claw in its learn set in, like, Fire Red Leaf Green. So, like, Having a different move pool doesn't it? That's not really a generation. It's really about the new Pokemon. Yeah, so like, if, say there's no new starters, but they add like 20 new Pokemon for this uh this supposed like Kanto thing. Cause I know they've been talking about the old Pokemon that were supposed to be in Kanto, but that weren't in the game, right? Like a uh, Gorochu, which apparently apparently Pikachu or Raichu evolves into. There's uh there's a bunch of stuff. 
There's a rumor that like Eevee's gonna have like a base normal evolution. That'd be pretty cool. Misremembered fighting is like yeah 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 that's right because um I think I read somewhere that fighting are like the heroes or something because that's why like uh fighting type Pokemon have abilities like justified. You gotta be a superhero. Though again, that's not necessarily the case for every fighting type Pokemon. Some fighting type Pokemon are punks. Like, uh... What's his face? There's a Pokemon that has like a hoodie? Uh... Gosh darn it. I wanna say it's like Scrap something, but no, I, I don't think that's right. Yeah, there's a couple of, you know, non-heroic fighting types. But, like, Machamp's considered heroic. Uh, Keldeo is obviously heroic, like, he's literally a hero. I'm sure there's others I can't think of. The Japanese fighting type is closer to hero type, like noble warrior stuff? Oh, okay, okay, that makes sense. The doctor always thought of fighting as martial arts or wrestling? Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Guess who's run out of leech lives again? His name's Vinx! It is me. Go start it, man. Go start it. There's your light type, that's why it beats dark? Yeah, no, we're, we're already good. Between fire, electric, fighting, and fairy, I feel like we've hit everything that what a light type could be. So, I don't feel like they need to. I just know that people would get hyped for it. Keldeo, the horse thing that always has its rear end to the player? <laughs> yes, Keldeo is a hero to the doctor. Don't hate. Did you ever see his movie? I mean, it's fair. I know a lot of people haven't seen the later Pokemon movies. In fact, I don't think I've seen the Keldeo movie either. That's one I think I saw was the Shaman one? I don't know. I was stuck in Australia. I didn't have any internet. And my, uh, girlfriend, or my ex-girlfriend, girlfriend at the time, she was really into Pokemon, so she had a lot of the movies. I watched a few of them with her. Yeah, I don't think we watched Keldeo. I don't, I don't think it was Keldeo. Hmm. Only 15 Leech Lives, man. So annoying. I could try to level up Bow off the Bell Sprouts, but no, Lick just doesn't do the damage. Not gonna work. And uh, let's see, Chug had a longish rant about Keldeo in his recent Black White Let's Play. And it's uh, just because of the artwork. <laughs> oh yeah? Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, and nah, um, I've watched almost none of Chugga Conroy's stuff. But I, I did watch a few of the episodes of him doing his Pokemon Red Let's Play. Cause I, I just wanted to watch someone do a Pokemon Red Let's Play and I was like, who should I watch? I was just watching like, random people at first, but the quality was just really bad. I was like, who could I find that's like higher quality? I'm like, oh yeah, Tins Doctor always watched that Chugga guy. I should check that out. So I watched a couple of those, but I, I couldn't stay stay for the whole thing, but it was, it was interesting to see, you know, who this guy that you watch is. Yeah, it was really interesting because it, it was definitely like one of his like really older videos. Oh, I should have used Supersonic Turn 1. But it was one of his really older videos, but the quality wasn't really high. He thought he did Fire Red? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the quality quality wasn't like extremely on fire or anything. But it, it was it was good. It was very informative. It was very informative. He put a lot of work into it. Oh wait, did my supersonic not hit? I I wasn't paying attention. It did not hit. Gosh darn it, Banks. Pay better attention than that. Yeah, I liked how every time he went to like a new route, he would show you like all the possible Pokemon he could fight on the route, and like, you know, what they were useful for and stuff like that. Uh, Drab says, why does Vinelip only have 10 PP? Has never made sense. Does it only have 10 PP? Vinelip? That's dumb. Ah, oh, jeez. I thought it had like 30, you know? Like Water Gun, Ember. Since Doctor says Black White has a ton of work put into it, 
but our 10th anniversary video about how much work it actually took to do the Black White series. Oh, that's cool, man. That's that's super cool. Yeah, I might have to check that out in the future. But like every now and then, I like to just watch other people play through the same games that I play and see what choices they make that are different from mine. See, you know, what they found difficult, what they found easy. It's just interesting to me. I get curious. Oh, and uh, Torf was saying, Chugga Conroy is really bad at video games. You can't watch his videos. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 all good. It's all good. We we all you know specialize in something. Like generally, you know, because like you have less players and uh, streamers like myself. We'll play like a lot of different games. We're not going to be good at all of them. We're just not. Like uh, and yeah, Game Grumps for example, they play a lot of games. They're not going to be good at all of those. Like for me, I'd say I'm like, uh, I'd say I'm pretty good at RPGs. I'm definitely pretty good at RPGs. I'm extremely good. I'd say my best genre is fighting games. And then behind fighting games, I'm pretty good at shooters. But, um, I mean, I'm the king of games, master of all puzzles, but occasionally I may possibly, maybe sometimes per chance have troubles with puzzles. I can always, I can always finish a puzzle game though, but like, I will admit, like, Portal 2 took me quite a bit of time. I mean, I beat it in like a few days, but, like, certain puzzles, you know, did hold me up for a bit. Uh, racing games, I'm not a huge fan of racing games. Not that I'm necessarily bad at them, but I don't really play them very much, so, again, I'm not really that good, I guess. I'm not good at sports games or racing games. Or, I already said racing games. Sports games and like, uh, what was the other one I was gonna say? Ah, uh, I, I don't remember. But yeah, no, I'm not really into sports games at all. A few days for Portal 2? Remember doing that in a single sitting? Well, yeah, I, I could beat it in a single sitting too, but like... I, like, I had a life. <laughs> I had, I had school I had to go to. I had work. Like, I literally had free time that was like, maybe like an hour a day. Like, legit, because, like, I had after-school activities, too. So, like, I would wake up- oh, I, I should've healed, I'm out of leech lives again. So, like, I would, uh, I would wake up at, like, 6 a.m., go to school, school would end at, like, 2 p.m., and then I would be at school for, uh, or after-school activities. I would generally be there from, like, 2 to 4 or 2 to 5, depending on what the activity was. And then, um, really should heal as a Pokemon Center. Then after that, I would, uh, go to work. I would generally be at work from, like, 5.30, because, you know, I have to drive there. But, yeah, like, from 5.30 to, like, 10 or 11. And then, like, if I really wanted to, like, come home and play a game, like, I could. But then, like, I'm getting no sleep. So it, it was really difficult. The first time through is maybe five hours? Well, like, again, I only got to play... Like, literally, I had to choose between sleep and playing a game. Like, when I was in my senior year of high school, I had to choose between sleep and playing games. And sometimes games won! <laughs> but... Yeah, no, man. It was, it was real tough. Really, really tough. Portal 2 is like 15 minutes of content, still a great game. Yeah, if you uh, if you know all the puzzles, you can go through that game really fast. The speedruns for that are really interesting. Alright, and what else were we saying? Uh, Gen 1, 2, and 3, Final Whip had 10 PP. Gen 4, they raised it to 15. Oh! And uh, Twerf saying, to be fair, I probably couldn't make good plays while also having to read like a Wikipedia page of info about every Pokemon. Yeah, no, it's, it's tough. Like, definitely, without a doubt, um, like, it's not so much for YouTubers, but definitely for streamers. I mean, I can see it for YouTubers as well, because, like, they're not trying to just focus on playing the game, they're trying to be entertaining at the same time. So it depends on the YouTuber. Some YouTubers aren't trying too hard to be entertaining, some of them are kind of focusing on the game. It just depends where your focus is. If you're, fo like, looking at the game, and you're looking at, like, your chat and trying to reply to people, and, like, say, maybe you have, like, a certain number of jokes or story or dialogue topics 
that you have in your mind and you're juggling multiple things, they're going to make mistakes. You're going to forget to use a super effective move, or you're going to forget, like, uh, this one NPC said to use this item in the such and such place. Like, that happens, man. That, that does happen. It is what it is. So, like, I, I get that. I get that. And yeah, like, especially, like, it depends on the streamer, but man, there are some streamers that are really good at, like, being one for one with a chat interactivity, like, someone says something and they reply to everything. Like, I try to do that myself, but sometimes I make mistakes. But yeah, there's streams that are much bigger than me with more interactivity, and so, like, if they're answering everything in chat, like, you gotta cut them some slack. You just, you got to, man. Because they're not focusing on the game, they're just not. Like, a lot of people, from what I've seen, again, it's not everyone, but a lot of people that stream would do a lot better if they weren't streaming. Like, for example, like, when I do Mega Man X2 speedruns, because I speedrun that game, I love that game, I love Mega Man. If I'm speedrunning while, like, doing the stream and talking to chat and stuff like that, I'll generally, like, I can beat the game anywhere between, like, 38 minutes to, like, 45. Like, it's, there's a lot of variability to that, just depending on, like, what, what certain mistakes I make. Versus if I were to speedrun the game without streaming, I'm gonna, like, consistently beat it around 38 minutes. Maybe, like, 39 if I make some mistakes. But the variability is much smaller because I'm just focusing on the game. I'm not worried about being entertaining. I'm not worried about talking to people. I'm not worried about like how I'm presenting myself on my webcam. I don't have to think about things like that. It's a, it's a lot easier for me. And uh, Glacken says depends on how fast chat is going. But basically you just have to be a faster reader and keep up peripheral vision. Yes, this is very true. Like, it's not going to be one for one for every person. Some people will have chat that, like, never moves anywhere and no one says anything. And I don't mean, like, someone that necessarily has, like, zero viewers. They can have, there are people out there that have, like, 40 viewers and no one says anything, like, ever. Like, because everyone just wants to watch. They just want to watch. They don't really care about interacting. They just want to see the video game. And yeah, nah, then, like... It can be tough, because it's like, ah, oh, what should I say to, like, entertain these people? Because you have no idea who they are, what they care about, they're not saying anything. So, like, you could get distracted from that, or you could just legit focus on the game yourself. It's like, there's there's no chat to interact with. You know, Glacken says it's also a lot harder for you, because you don't have it down to a science? Yeah, if you don't have something down to a science, that can definitely be difficult. Will you link the Caldeo video in Discord? Alright, I'll definitely check that out later, for sure. This is the highest level I've had a Zubat this early in the game. But, I kinda had to, because it's like, I don't have all these choices. Not really. Didn't get- didn't get Pidgey, didn't get, um... What's his face? Hoot hoot, there we go. Uh, like, this is an unpredictable game and you have to think about your decisions? Yeah, you, you definitely do, man. If things go wrong, it'll go real wrong real fast. Don't recognize everything immediately and make an immediate decision? Yeah! I, I like to press buttons, so sometimes something will happen and I'll be talking to chat and I won't react to what's happening. So I would just assume it's gonna go a certain way and it doesn't necessarily do that. No, sir. It's a minute or two of him ranting, kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll check it out, man. I'm usually pretty partial to rants. Alright, so it's a uh, Hoot Hoot, so I can fight that with whoever. Uh, Quartz would be the best, but I'm gonna start with Bo. That Bo can get some of this experience. Oh, Bo has Hypnosis, though. And I don't believe Hoot Hoot can attack me. It can use Foresight, but has the potential to attack me. It did not do that. Have a good sleep. But yeah, like, uh, Faulkner has a level 7 Pidgey, level 9 Pidgeotto. Um, 
They both have mud slap though. Like that's the one problem. It's like I have the rock type Pokemon, but God, he would he would wake up after one turn of sleep. One turn of sleep. Jeez, man, jeez. But uh, yeah, I have the rock type Pokemon, but I'm weak to round. So I don't know if I should just like open up one Pidgey. What I could do, what I could do, is kind of dangerous. I could choose Ghastly, send Ghastly out, have Ghastly put Pidgey to sleep, then switch to Geodude, have Geodude try to build up some defense curls. Might be able to win off of that. You know, Omega saying, speaking of sleep, he'll be going to sleep soon? Yeah, nah, man. I think I'll have to go ahead and get some sleep myself. It's, uh, it's almost 3 a.m. But I got like eight minutes left of stream time, so I'm gonna I'm gonna play it out. Gotta play it out. Get out of here, Hootoo. Yeah, that's a problem, right? It's like I don't have Rock Slide. Or not Rock Slide, Rock Throw. What level do I learn Rock Throw? Eleven, I think. Not nine, is it? Mm, nope, <laughs> it's not level nine. But we'll get Rock Throw eventually. Oh, you have the same time left? Yeah, we're cool stuff, man. Alright, yeah, get Bo back in there. Fuck up that XP. We need that. And, uh, I will send in... Yeah, we'll send Glacken back in. He's got full HP. No worries, no worries. Yeah, he's flying poison type, so he'll take these Vine Whips all day. He, he does not care. Final Whips do nothing. Would you mind not, you know, avoiding my Supersonics? Dang. Yeah, he deals more damage to himself than I can deal to him with Leech Life. Well, when he does hit himself in confusion. I mean, either way, it's, it's like a free fight. Like, I can't lose it, it can just be slow. Confused no more. What are these two turn, like, resolving my status effects, man? They don't want to sleep, they don't want to be confused. Come on, man. Try again. There you go. Hitting yourself in confusion. That's what I want to see. I mean, I could open up on Pidgeotto with Glacken here. He's got the Supersonic. I can't be hit by the ground type attack because I'm flying. But, um. I don't know. It, it could work. It could work. Possible. I mean, I will be able to fight Faulkner tonight. It's 254. I'll take a little bit too long, but. Go ahead and knock out this Sage leader. What I have to do? Get out of here, Bill Sprail. Yeah, I can open up, switch to, switch to Glacom, use the Supersonic, if it misses, I think I'll be okay. He doesn't deal exuberant damage. Like, the Pidgeotto is pretty strong, because it's a Pidgeotto, but I think I'll be okay. I think I have like two good goes through the uh, Supersonic. Yo, thank you, buddy! Yo, this is my slowest Sprout Tower yet, man. I had to keep going in and out for, uh, Blackham so he could use his Leech Lives. But he got the levels off of it, so that was nice. Yeah, normally I have, like, a level 3 Zubat at this point. Much stronger, much stronger Zubat. Um... I guess I can... Yeah, it'll, it'll be a good test. It'll be a good test. Let's, uh, go against this level 9 Spiro and see how he responds to Mr. Glacken. Oh, well, speaking of which, I think I'll start, I'll open up with, a uh, Ghastly Boy, too. Or Ghastly Girl, excuse me. I don't know, can she take the... Yeah, she's level 6. You can take a peck, she'll be okay, she's a big girl. Glackham says, gotta be the strong kind of guy who probably won't die after all. Yeah, gotta do that, man. Gotta do that. 
Alright, so this is this is our test. This will show me what the uh, boss fight against a level 9 Pidgeotto will probably go. Again, he doesn't hit as hard as a Pidgeotto, but yeah, just, just the uh, startup. Ah! That was 9 damage right there, jeez. Alright, so yeah, there's the Hypnosis. We'll send in Glackum. Oh wait, no! It's not worth it to go for the Supersonic, if I get this, I don't think. It just open up with Glackum, I think. Yeah, I think Glackum has much better defenses. Should have much better defenses than Ghastly, right? I think I have the stats up here. Yeah, Zubat has a defense base, or, yeah, base stat of, uh, what is that? I kind of want to see how much damage he'll do, so I'm going to say in. Yeah, base stat 35 versus Ghastly's... 30. Yeah, it, it, not by much, but yeah, Zubat does, um... Let's have higher defense. Faulkner is as hard as eating chicken, yeah. Yeah, I want to see how much damage you can do. This is important. I'm gonna stay in. Yeah, the, the one time I want to test something, he would, like, stay in sleep for four years. Come on, guys. Just come out of the sleep. Show me how much damage you do. You need to know. Turn himself in confusion. That's fine. I don't know, Glacker might just win the whole fight. If he hits himself in confusion just like two more times, that'll do it. Confused. Great self in confusion. <laughs> so much for my experiment. <laughs> Please don't experiment on you. I'm trying. The spirit's gotta hit through his confusion, man. Oh, there he goes, confused no more. The peck is gonna deal five damage. That's nothing, dude. That is nothing. Yeah, Glackum, Glackum can do this. I can open up with Glackum, it'll be fine. It's like, yeah, the Pidgeotto will do more damage, but it should be like, I don't know, like seven, nine damage? It'll be okay. I can take a couple hits. Ah, oh, this can't be true. You'll be alright. And what does that guy have? He has uh, two Pidgeys, I think. In the sevens? All my Pokemon are pretty up there in levels. Alright, this will this will have to be the last trainer battle for tonight, though. I, I don't have time for Faulkner. But we'll do this guy, and then we'll end for tonight. We'll come back tomorrow. We'll come back tomorrow. I'm gonna body all these peoples. No worries. Alright, what are we gonna do? Yeah, open up with Hypnosis. Yeah, I can't land Lick, because it's a normal type Pokemon. Which two? Well, Buddy Quartz over here. How you feel about tackles, my friends? Nah, I was kind of expecting to do a bit more damage than that. That's fine, whatever. That's a, that's a one fight. He can't, he can't stop me. He's a sleepy bird. So sleepy. Will he wake up before he's knocked out? <laughs> no, he won't. You know, that's gotta be the worst, right? You just wake up. It's like, whoa, how did I get to the Pokemon Center? <laughs> what happened? Yeah, no, buddy, you fell asleep while you're fighting that, uh... You're fighting that Ghastly, remember? You dude came out. Knocked you up, man. Beat you up. These things happen, good Pokemon. Ugh, missed. Sand attack? Man, he can't hit me. He cannot hit me, he only has... Oh wait, no, does he have Gust? He might have Gust. What level does Pidgey learn Gust? I don't know, I'm not landing in this hypnosis though. After three sand attacks, I might as well give up. That's that's not gonna happen. Yeah, let's just do quartz. Oh, you're heading out, yo. Good night, Omega. Thanks for coming by, man. It's been fun. Ooh, sand attack. Not the best.
And Zakir never understood how they stay asleep while taking potentially lethal attacks. Hey man, the power of song is strong. Jigglypuff, she puts people out. And yeah, it's the same thing with uh, Hypnosis, man. Hypnosis is too strong. Oh, good crit, let's go. I appreciate that. Did he hit this tackle? Come on, buddy. There you go. Oh, Bow learns fight. Yeah, I don't know. Out of the two of them, I think opening up with Bow would be a little bit better. I think Bow would be just a tiny, teensy bit better, man. The sleep is a little bit more reliable if I can land it. And I mean, Hypnosis and Supersonic are just as likely to hit as each other. There's like at least one turn. At least one turn I get out of uh, Hypnosis if it lands. Versus Supersonic, I could potentially get zero turns out of it. You never know. But yo, either way, that's gonna do me for tonight, guys. Yo, much love to everybody who came in here. You guys are the best! Um, if you like watching Pokemon, you know, speedruns or nuzlocks or whatever, if you like Pokemon, haven't already followed me, probably do that, man. You probably do that. Well, I mean, only only if you want to watch. We're like, nah, man. <laughs> and yo, Lolden with the one bit saying I just came back. Yo, sorry, Lolden. I'm so sorry. Oh, you got the gold medal, though. Yo, congratulations. Top bit donator in the stream. My boy, Lolden. Yo, blowing up top bits, the one bit. <laughs> Yo, we take those though. Top, top cheer is top cheer. All right, uh, let's see who's online. Trombone's online, I could host him. Uh, Nooblet's online. Yeah, I should host her. I've been meaning to host Nooblet for a while. She's playing Dark Souls. So she's a super chill girl, she's super nice. She's trying to play the hard video game. Wish her the best of luck for me, if you could. But uh, yeah, if you want to see what's going to happen, you want to know what's what, we will be coming back to this game tomorrow. 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hit that follow. Can't miss a notification. I also have like a Twitter and Discord and stuff like that, if you want to join any of that to see my schedule and stuff. But either way, that's me. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful night. Get that sleep, man. It's great.